The Fatel S179 handheld core alignment fusion splicer offers powerful performance, delivering fast and reliable optical fiber splicing even under harsh environmental conditions. A large capacity battery system helps save time by allowing 200 splicing cycles in one charge. The Fatel S179 Fusion Splicer has a 4.3-inch wide LCD screen with touch panels that offer easy and intuitive operation. And it is compatible with splice-on connectors, including the Cheetah and Armadillo splice-on connectors from FIS. Remember, before using a fiber optic fusion splicer, you must perform an arc calibration. The video link will be in description below. Take the FIS Splice On Connector Blister Pack and turn it upside down. Fold in half and open it from the back. In the pack there is the Splice On Connector with Cleave Protector, 3mm Splice Sleeve, the Extended Brass Crimp Ring, 3mm Boot, the black brass crimp ring, and the SC external housing. Take the 3mm cable and assemble the back of the connector. First, slide the black crimp ring, followed by the 3mm boot. And the extended brass crimp ring. For SC terminations, face the bigger body out toward the connector. Next, use the strip chart to first remove the 3mm cable jacket by measuring 35mm. Take the tri-hole stripper and strip. Separate the Kevlar back from the 900 micron buffer and slide the mini sleeve over the Kevlar. Back to the strip chart to remove the 900 micron buffer by measuring 5 millimeters. Strip a quarter of an inch at a time so you don't run the risk of breaking the glass. After removing the 900 micron jacket, use the 250 micron slot of the stripper and remove the acrylate coating. To clean the fiber, Use 99% isopropyl alcohol and a low lint wipe. Take the FIS cordage holder, open the lid, and place the fiber into the groove right up to the end of the fiber holder. Take the cleaver, open, then place the fiber holder into the cleaver. Close to cleave the fiber. Next, take the cleaved fiber that is in the holder and place it into the splicer. Then put in the FIS splice on connector holder into the machine. Take off the dust cap and save it for after the installation. Remove the cleave protector on the connector and pull away without touching the fiber. Place the connector into the connector holder. Once again, both fibers are past the blue pad of the V-grooves, but are not extended far enough to the electrodes. Close lid and press the Play Start button. The splice is complete with the estimated loss on top. Open the lid of the fiber holder and gently pull the fiber right out of the splicer. Get the FIS Universal Splice On Connector Oven to use for the next step of this termination. On the side of the oven, there is a knob to indicate the heater time for the type of splice on connector. Set it to three millimeters or 45 seconds. While securing the Kevlar, slide down the splice sleeve so it grabs both sides of the 900 micron type buffer. Place it into the oven. Make sure that the sleeve stays in place, not go over the back end of the connector. 
press start. Make sure you have an even melt along the splice sleeve prior to sliding the boot up. Once the sleeve is melted, pull down the Kevlar followed by the extended brass crimp ring. On the other side of the strip chart is the crimp ring diagram. Since this termination is a SC connector, crimp the top using the 190 round. Down below, crimp by using the 128 hex. Slide the boot up, then the black crimp ring up to the back of the boot, and crimp it by using the 161 round. Take your SC housing, match up the key ways and slide it on. An audible click should be heard. Put the dust cap on. The termination of the FIS 3mm Armadillo Splice On Connector is now complete. To purchase any of the products used in this video, contact Fiber Instrument Sales at 1-800-500-0347 or go to our website at fiberinstrumentsales.com. Subscribe to our channel for new videos.